this is Martin from Secrets channel for learning about trading and investing. Welcome to another episode of Markets Next Week, the weekly stock market analysis show where we look at technical charts and try to understand what happened in the market during the previous week and then plan for a better trade for the upcoming week. That's tomorrow, December 4th, Monday, 2023. So if you're not subscribed, please subscribe and share your friends and colleagues so that no one miss out on this. So we would straight away go to the charts. This is the weekly view. We had been talking about this trending up move since long. We have a rounding pattern, cup and handle, flag patterns, multiple flag patterns and the third flag pattern can be seen that you know, it has broken out beautifully on the nifty on the left side and bang to the right side. Also it's breaking out of the flag pattern which is the third one. Flag 1, flag 2, flag 3. Absolute clear bullish pattern that is speaking to us from the charts on the weekly. This is another weekly view. This is showing that the price is well contained within the trend line parallel channel for both indices. And it had a resistance zone from where it retraced 79% and then it's completely recovered and taken out that resistance in the nif nifty left side. Bank nifty it is it is a it was an M pattern breakdown for similar resistance was found near the 46,000 and then it seems retracement is done with a bank key also and it's although it is not taken out that resistance that from where it had fallen it is heading towards that in a, in a concrete bullish way right this is a daily view of that absolute trending retracement one retracement two and then it's making no higher high higher high higher, you know higher low higher high and absolutely it is it is it has made a new higher high that's what it is right right complete recovery uh, absolute recovery from the 18800 zones and bank Nifty also showing that it is uh, it is heading towards uh, another breakout from the previous new highs although it has not completely happened yet we'll get into the details later charts so this is a candlestick view look at that candle this is nothing but wide range wide wide range absolute bullish candle one of the biggest candles in the recent times you know if you look at the previous one earlier sometime in june or something it happened but after that this is absolute bullish weekly candle remember that you know, on a weekly week basis absolute bullish candle and price is closed and moved over the 20,000 not only that it has made a new all-time high right Angnity also absolute bullish wide range bullish candle not it made the all-time high but heading towards that looks like the daily candlestick patterns if you see this was trending up more all the days in the final Friday candle this is another wide range bullish candle on both indices if you also right trending week would say each day was trending up and up and up and solid Bollinger bands are showing the expansion of the bands on the upside, absolute bullish and walking on the bands. Walking on the bands is making me even more bullish. Bias, of course, is about 20 median, so it's absolute bullish. On both bank of tails, it's walking on the bands, expansion on the upside, which indicates that potential further up move could be happening. But remember, we are, we are moving far away from the 20, 20, 20 moving average to see median of the band so the farther we move away more it will be attracted towards it but the absolute bullish expansion has happened on the dice on the daily ball in the match you see so before getting into the support and resistance precisely let's just summarize what happened last week so it is basically the nifty has broken out reclaimed the 20,000 big rounding number and just made a new all-time high closing above 20,000 triple two now the new one is 20,295 somewhere around that. So it's close post. It's a fifth consecutive up move, green candle up move that's happened. It's a 2.42 percent weekly, 478 points up as compared to the previous week. <coughs> An absolute white range bullish candle. So it's gained um, uh 7.6 percent you know so that's almost all of the retracement has been covered with and it's it's uh, a, from the previous single if they, if you if you if you look at it it's retraced 7.6 percent so it's it is a continued up you no know, attempt to break out and is 
closed above the 20 weekly expansion moving average. Remember that we are still in the middle of the 20% rally from in between we had to trade some you know seven to nine percent and then it's basically a cup and handle and the crown in and flat pattern that you can see that's breaking out and, and so it's really ongoing on a medium term bank Nifty also is posted 2.3 percent on maybe thousand forty three points just in a week last friday to this friday so we have thousand points plus Right, wide range bullish candle that's 6.5 percent of the total 9.2 percent has been increased it's about the 20 weekly expansion moving average so there also we are on the 20 plus percentage of rally in between we retrace to a nine percent to a little bit more on the bank but absolute rally is what is going on and um, the retracement has been more or less covered some more is left and you no know, bullish patterns are everywhere daily candles also close clean 0.67% on Friday, 135 points on the Nifty. So wide range bullish bank in handle again. We have seen that it's cleared and far away from the 250, 100 expansion moving average. All of them. Bank Nifty also is closed green with 0.75 on Friday. It's 332 points. Wide range bullish candle again, taking out the 50, 100 expansion moving average. We're resisting it. And basically, markets have retraced for all the retrace, recovered all the retracement, dropped not made any all time highs. Bank Nifty also has participated in it, just relatively week earlier, has participated now and then. It's another thousand points plus towards all time for that. So that way it's slightly lagging behind, but no. Bank Nifty also has to join the rally. So will this rally to sell out? Or will markets consolidate for the Bank Nifty also to catch up? Or is it a trap? Will we have a reverse rather from here on? These are the questions in front of us. Look at the charts. So otherwise, the Bollinger Bands also is showing upside of sanction, bullish bias, about 20 million of the Bollinger Bands on the daily charts. So you've seen that already, right? That is a quick summary of what we have discussed in the charts. Now, let's get into support resistance levels right away. So <coughs> the resistance from here would be, uh, would be, you know, you don't know what is it like, you know, you can, so uh, one way to do, you know, understand is that this is a channel. And the channel time would mean that it could go up to 2400, 2500. You know? If it breaks out from there, you, know, you just have to draw a um, Fibonacci extension and try to understand. But as of now, 2500 may be the first resistance that may come in play because it's in the channel top. Now, support downside is a big gap that appears at 2158, right? After that, 19900. For the 20th, okay, would be a good, very good support because it's not a big rounding number. The 9900 has got another gap support, right? Then 19762 has got 20 expansion moving average, 50 expansion moving average will come 19600, 100 expansion moving average will come 19400, 450, that's all. Then there's a gap that's coming at 19275, 91, So these are all supports downside, all nifty, right? Actually, if you look at <coughs> it's all the top of a trend line channel and no, we will be uh, you know, if you are breaking out of that the first resistance that will come in the minute will be 45 big rounding number 45,000 45,000 has nearby has got resistances at 4500 45 277 so all previous swing highs so you know, once that 45 200 is clearly is taken out that will mean we are breaking out of that and heading for the Next up would be 45, 6, 50, and then 45, 780, and then 45, 900, and 46,000 rounding number. So there's a gap at 45, 782, that's all, right? That's a gap resistance, previous gap, right? And then all time high is 46, 369 after that resistance upside. Downside supports will come in at 44, 400, right? And then 44, 200, and 44K would be major, major, major resistance support zone. The 100 expansion, 50 expansion, all this would come in this uh, near, near to the 40, 44,000, 43, 900, 43, 930, 43, 600, right? So 200 expansion moving average is coming at 43, 300. That's where the last support could be. And downside from that could you know, go and rate us to 42,000. These are all support resistance on the bank of tea. Let's get in the momentum. Momentum is literally picked up. The medium term, it has climbed to the bully zone, so nifty. and. Uh, Bank Nifty also sideways and rising, but not at there in the bullish zones. Uh, on the daily charts, Nifty and Bank Nifty both are rising up momentum. Absolutely not out about that trend. So it's it's bullishness all around. Bullish rising momentum on the daily charts and uh, and the weekly charts on Nifty and weekly charts still sideways and rising on the Bank Nifty, but short on absolute bullishness. So 
It is indicated that we are using to track the trend indicators DMA positive plus over it bullish zones so both, right? It's just a slightly it's bullish, but it's crossover the bullish zone on all time frames, medium and short, daily and the weekly, both it's absolute bullish and then uh, it's rising strength. The strength of the trend is also good. Now it is slightly flattish, but uh, no. So trend and momentum is bullish, no doubt about that. Here is an interesting part. The market has moved, cleared nearly 2% up move and then the VIX has actually shot up 10% which should have cooled off. So VIX is at 12.3. This is a worry. This is a divergence. We have to be cautious about that. Right? But still 12.3 is low volatility has come out to the 15 or 20 that you know, we consider normally as a peak volatility. So, but you have to be slightly cautious here because there is a divergence between the market move. And of course this VIX, India VIX uh, volatility increase spike maybe because of the election state election outcomes and exit polls and other that's going around and that would cool off that may cool off at the moment that the you know market digests the outcome of that now another thing is if you analyze the open interest analysis the, the futures open interest of the nifty bounty both are short covering short coverings are bullish in nature and it can boost out it, it can boost out like, like anything so that's bullish in nature open interest for the options for the december 6th and 7th weekly expiry shows that the put call ratio is it's bullish uh, bank Nifty observed bullish, but uh, Nifty observed bullish. Bank Nifty is slightly below the uh, one, you know, so not exactly bullish, but you can consider. It. So PCR and the futures open interest and options option interest are also showing bullishness with respect to open interest. Look at this huge resistance seen at that zone of the you know, forty-five thousand seems to be recorded for Bank Nifty, but um, it's more of supports and put writing that is dominating in the case of. Uh, Nifty, which is seen at uh, 20,000. So 20,000 and 21,000. The 1,000 point range for the Nifty, uh, where the highest put and call writing is seen. And 20,500 and 20,400 is the second highest put and call writing is seen. So the Bank Nifty, 44,500 and 45,000 narrow range for the Bank Nifty, where the highest put and call writing is seen. And 42 and 46,000, very wide range, if that's breached, and if that doesn't work. So 44,000 is pretty crucial for the Bank Nifty, right? So otherwise, Right. That's what the charts are showing. So there is some unwinding also seen there on the call side on the Nifty and call side on the Bank. Also, you can clearly see that, right? So yeah, narrow range from Bank Nifty and a decent wide range for Nifty is what the option writers are saying for the next week, right? That is, of course, there is an election outcome that's coming, so that's why you see a relatively wider range in the open interest of the options of Nifty and Bank Nifty, right? Let's move ahead and see what the sectoral and the major industrial sectors what are the same. So, no doubt about that. It's all it's all up. It's all green. It's all bullish. Everything up. IT 1.7 percent up, 2 percent up, 2 percent farm up, 2 percent auto up, FMC 2.4 percent also. Real 2.7 percent up. Absolute bullish momentum rising on both time frames and long trades can matter on any of those. So this is where the rally is absolutely reflecting across the sector. Absolute. Up move on, on all the major indices. Right? Here is the IT. Right? IT, remember that there is a gap resistance that's coming. You have to be very cautious. It can go up there for a little more so, to those that uh, gap resistance and it can break down. But otherwise, it has climbed up into the bull zones. Metal also climbed in the bull zones. All, all, getting back to all time highs. Auto also, all time high levels. Bullish momentum divergence playing out beautifully and momentum is spiking up and up. All time highs. Pharma also breaking out from that consolidation, all-time highs, absolute bullish momentum and trend. FMCG heading back to the all-time highs, momentum absolute bullish. Lot of space before the top of the channel. Reality breaking out all-time highs, absolute bullish momentum bull divergence has worked out as we had mentioned in previous weeks. Trend and momentum both are bullish on both time frames weekly and daily. So no doubt from the charts that across the sector up more is what is happening. Now, if you analyze industrial heavy weights that contribute maximum to the index, these are the stocks that contribute maximum HTPC, Reliance, and uh, ICSA Bank. The thing that we notice here is that ICSA Bank and Reliance both are sideways momentum but rising up. Right? There is some kind of indigenous in of Reliance, and there is a good uh, recovery back on the ICSA Bank. But um, uh, HTPC Bank also is sideways, all the volumes have picked up, not above the moving average. So, medium term, if you look, all the, the the most the major industry heavyweights, HVC Bank, Reliance, 
and which is going on still sideways not a crease there not a crease there in the body zones same with the case of infosys and uh, uh, tcs the it stocks are going to go maximum both are sideways right and rising up rising up of course correct but of course it has been the sideways up and more down it is picked up but still sideways so in summary all the major 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 seven heavyweight hrithik stocks are still sideways and rising this is because the heavy selling the previous to previous to previous weeks were all happening in this major the spying has happened across the indices you know? so uh, across the other stocks in the indices so that's very interesting to talk apart from the wicks that's contradicting it is the sectoral indices which it is uh, it is the industry heavyweight stocks none of them are positive yet so we need one or two leaders among this industry heavyweights for the market to really break out and majorly it's the banging index two stocks and two or three are banging index so that's uh, that's set to catch up because there is a lag behind on that right so, so to keep that in mind and so that's something interesting right india wicks spiking up and the market is spiking up and Uh, none of the heavy weights are bullish on so medium term yet and bank nifty yet to climb into the moment of bullish zones right so we have to talk about everything uh, you know you know so whatever the chart is saying we have to speak about that right so absolute moment breakouts are happening 1000 more in 2.5% of breakout is happening bullish zones everything is fine but you know these are things that we have to be cautious about right look at this fires have been buying 10600 crores of buying last last week so it's last three weeks it was it was consecutive buying after 17 plus or 18 consecutive weeks of selling earlier so if as a trend to buying is very very positive d is also buying for the fire of course so that's a reason why market has moved up so net long term derivatives of the fire here also has moved up so institutional spot positioning has come back which is very positive that's why the market is moving up this is getting to the global market the currencies and the um commodities and all that right so being with currency the dollar index has moved down slightly 0.21% flattish but now 103.9 which is good so the slip to the sideways from the bullish zones from the monthly versity on the weekly terms so dollar has cooled off use the inr currency pair that is also flattish last because it was flattish 0.10 so 83.24 still at the top but it is cooled off a little bit and this momentum is slightly slip to the sideways and it's falling down so that was good so rupee has swung a little bit but still in the weakest point so it has been in that range forever look at this chart on the right side used in our currency pair has cooled off after bringing out from the capital handle while uh, in rupee the used in uh, we are talking about used dollar index on the top used in our on the bottom uh, it is on the wedge as ending wedge and it has been consolidating there since ages it's because of central bank intervention that it is it is doing nothing it just not able to spike out right this contain neither is it falling down also so it's weak but flat absolute black on the top of a ascending wedge for anything would happen moment was slightly slipped again it comes to climb back to the bullish zones again it slips so that's what is happening in the rupee moving to the crude um, oil it has cooled off crude has cooled off is big relief not for the oil marketing company some of them Yeah, but uh, look for the economy wise, the global cool off has gained a lot. The dollar is also slightly cooling off. It's positive. Now here is a here is the th- happening thing. The gold it has spiked up and it has almost touched the all time high. Why are people shifting their entire money to safer havens when the market is rising up? This is something else that you need to be concerned about. So, VIX is spiking up when the market is moving up. Gold is spiking and making new all time highs. and magnifty has still got to pick up industry heavy weight stocks are not in the bull zones at on the medium term so things that you have to be very very cautious about as you move along and there is an election set out on whether to come on monday so it's going to be very tricky look at this global market us indices the dow jones breaking out that's why the market is moving up if i say buying in us market is breaking out of the worry on the inflation and uh, fed rates have cool off a little bit last uh, couple of weeks not couple of last four five weeks that's what is where the rally has begun right last five weeks us markets up and we are also up so it's breaking out and it's heading towards the all time high of 3700 right that's what is in dow jones 
One million square meters bullish zones, trend is bullish, everything is bullish. That is since five weeks it's bullish. NASDAQ also breaking out slightly interesting, but bring out heading towards all time high. SP 500 also breaking out of it as a descending wedge and then heading towards all time high. All bullishness all around. But personal age move is not that great. It's down zones that made a big move 2.4 percent. Otherwise, it's all one person as a flat is close but green. Momentum is rising and bullish is the thing. It has been five weeks of brandy that's happening and it continues. So, global markets, dollar wise, crude oil wise, uh, things are fine. Gold is spiking up, people are you know, called a hedging instrument and people, you know, gold spikes when money gets shifted from the equity market normally. So, gold spike is the thing that is an outlier. Now, just yeah, that's it uh, about the analysis. Then we are getting back to the actionable. So, two stock picks one is Gale in Gates, rounding matter and breakout confirmed. Any entry from this point with a tight stop loss could give good reasonable good risk reward trades. Momentum is up, trend is up, volumes are break at above moving average. Huge volumes with momentum and trend usually lost. Now, Tata Steel is the next one, and um, volume has just climbed back to the cool zones. There is some divergence, you have to be cautious about that. Volumes are not the treat. And there is, uh, this is, uh, you know, if you can wait till uh, for an entry till the breakout really happens above the parallel channel, then it will be great. But if you're impatient still, with a tight surplus, you can make an entry. It can move up, sector is moving up, market is moving up, everything is moving up. So, um, trend is bullish, moment is bullish. So, Tata Steel Limited and Gale India to stock this for the swing trading opportunities in this couple of weeks. Another actionable for the Nifty indices. So since there is a event that outcome that comes on Monday, now I'm very skeptical and premiums are also very low when you come to the other non-directional strategy. So this is a simple spread. You now where we are selling 26 dollar put uh, for the next week, 7 December, and then buying edge for that for 27.50. So um, yeah, you can exit if there is a breach that happens above the. 2600 price moves above that you can exit otherwise you don't have to worry anything whichever way the market falls right position size as per its capacity and then capacity of the capital right so this is a very simple spread right so basically you're just assuming that the market won't move above the 20600 right so that's action on the index nifty options for the next week i've seen all that let's just wrap up last week Nothing but a breakout is what happened. Market made a new all-time high, Nifty especially. Right, so it was basically retrieved, recovered all the retracement for within a five weeks time. And the bankruptcy also is now just lying behind us now. Joined the party, big moves are happening. Imagine what HDFC Bank and all this uh, currently um, slightly lagging behind stocks also join the party. Then one going rally can be really big. Remember we are just in a twenty percent rally and had a ten percent retracement earlier. So. No. And now by my monthly candle, if you see, it's engulfing all the four months that indicates that no bullishness can continue. Now the US markets are green for the last five weeks. Suffice the buying since last three weeks. Crude oil is cooled off, dollar is cooling off. Index momentum trend, all these indicators are bullish. Price action is bullish, loss, swing price, gaps, everything is taken out. Bridge is still low volatility. Bridge open interest and foot call ratios, short covering features open interest. Expanding bands on the upside across the sector of move. All this gives hopes of the bulls that you know big rally, bigger, even bigger rally can continue. And that's what hope that gives for the bulls. Now, the week is spiking up despite the market moving up, it's divergence. And if the price action is facing the heat at 45k Friday, also it's going to close above the 45k, which is very crucial. And it's still at the top of the channel in confluence with the 45k challenge. The momentum is yet to climb into the medium term or weekly charts into the bull zones yet. About 60 to still not climbed. Uh, so it's 1300 points still far away from the ATH on the Bank of T. So Bank of T open results, so it's not absolute bullish about the one that does not happen PCR wise. So all this gives the hope for the bears that reversal may be, may be happening. Now the market has broken out and recovered up, uh, you know, from the previous retracement. Bank of T also has you know, joined the party and improved and gained on the momentum and the trend, etc. Fine, but the question now is, will this uh, be a big up move that may happen when once the bank, you know, bank the joins, or will it fizzle out? 
and it will um, will nifty wait and consolidate or retrace a little bit more till the bank nifty catches up right or would this be a complete reverse of the top following the outcome of election result we don't know mix is behaving unnaturally bank nifty is slightly weaker you know, as compared to the nifty you know, still long way to wait yet and all these factors make it slightly less you have to be cautious but charts are saying it's absolutely bullish no uh, moderate bullish is smart my view is there for next week global gives russian fears rate interest rate war and all these things could could cause black swans anytime so always hedge your positions is all that we can do so levels for the next week is 9500 20000 thousand one range for on nifty for 1000 and 45 800 is what the levels can be look for from that for the bank so always as long as it's for 9000 and 40000 is should be fine Rally may be continuing, so it's 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 much about that. It's it's, it's much much about that, so that it should be fine. But and if it can hold on the twenty thousand, and if it bank if it can hold on that forty five after it conquers that, then it will be great. So, not take our our night risk. Hedge positions always. Market is breaking out. You can have momentum investing, not value investing. For value investing, you have to wait for the dips, and uh, use rental income using. Covered calls and cash account puts and all the strategies that are that available in the playlist. Check out that. Right. So always manage your risk. If the VIX is spiking up further towards the 20 levels, then cut short your positions. I think stay safe. And uh, whenever election outcomes and all these things happen, it's better to stay out than be in the game. Right. Because things could turn around. Not could surprise you. Worse will come in any time. You never know what happens. Right. You know, anything and everything is possible. So. Manager risk is all that is in our hands. Thanks for watching. So that's what I have. If you're not subscribed, sub please subscribe and share to your friends and colleagues. Share your feedback and comments. You know, and um, we are also active in the social media channels, especially on the Twitter, with daily charts and analysis that comes in. So subscribe to that as well. That's what I have. Thanks for watching. Happy trading. Happy learning. Happy investing. Bye bye. Thank you.